And the actual coating I used is this guy here. That might be a better angle. So all the water's just beading. You can see the water sheeting off real slowly on the left. It beads and comes off real fast. So let's do this again. Maybe at a different angle. So after we buffed this side of the boat, uh, maybe a few months ago, I think about three months ago, uh, I didn't get down to uh, the water line. I just did the, the top section where you see that top uh, green, darker section, a gel coat. And I was just experimenting with some graphene coating and from the front of the bow all the way till right around here, I put uh, a coating, one, just one uh, coat of a graphene coating, I'll show you here in a minute. And I never really bothered to check afterwards to see you know, what sort of effect it had. And the reason I did half of the boat and not the other is just to see uh, how it reacts to the water and how well it keeps water spots and things off. And today I was cleaning up, uh, buffing the other side of the boat. And I came over here and noticed that on the front half of the, the bow, uh, the, the hull on this side, we had very little water spotting. And then from here back, there was a lot of water spotting. And I remembered that I had done the graphene coating. So got the water hose and I said, hey, let's see how it reacts to just water being sprayed. And if you can see here, water's kind of just dripping off. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it's beating really well. That might be a better angle. So all the water's just beating, not really sticking. Come back here and the water sticks and it kind of sheets off very slowly. And if you get both areas wet right next to each other, it's really easy to see the difference. On the right, you can see the water sheeting off real slowly. On the left, it beads and comes off real fast. So let's do this again, maybe at a different angle. There you go. So you see here, it's graphene coated. Here, it's not. Isn't that crazy? So I'll put the uh, link to the graphing coating I used down in the description if you want to grab a bottle and try it on your boat. The other thing I've read about this particular coating is that it helps keep the surface temperature down. So even up top, where you might have water sitting a little bit longer, it keeps the surface temperature down by just a little bit and it helps um, reduce water spotting so that the water has uh, a lower surface temperature that it's sitting on. But yeah, look at this. That is amazing. That's Aiden over there playing with his remote control cars. Yeah, I'm really happy with the results. I was going to uh, put uh, smooth blue ceramic uh, on this side, and I think I'm just gonna continue graphing coating the rest of this side. And then on the other side of the boat, I'm gonna use the smooth ceramic coat and then compare maybe in a few months and see see how they're different. And the actual coating I used is this guy here. Um, I'll put a link to it down in the description so you can purchase yours. Click on the link and make sure you get the right one. Um, there's several different nano spray coatings from 303 now, and this is the particular one uh, that I used this time and had very good results with. It's called Graphene Nano Spray Coating. It's from 303. Um, it's uh, for uh, marine use and automotive use. I did use it on the hood of my SUV. I haven't tested to see how well it has or hasn't worked after a few months that it's been on there, but on the gel coat on the boat that you just saw, um, it has held up well. Um, I think we've been out to the lake maybe eight or nine trips since then and um, used the boat as usual. And as you can see, the coating's still on there, surprisingly. I thought it would at least wear off with the uh, water and weathering um, over the last few months, but this uh, stuff I can definitely recommend uh, if you want to give it a try. Links down below, and I'm going to compare it to the smooth uh, ceramic um, uh, coating as well that I'll apply to the other side of the boat in, in a few months, maybe do an update there.